Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another Go High Level tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a calendar system for a hair salon that offers a hassle-free experience for people to book without having to go through a reception or any staff member. Now, before we dive into the configuration, I want to take you through this quick example right here. Now, this is a basic structure for any hair salon out there. They would have a few chairs offering a couple of services or maybe more like hair coloring and trimming. And then they would have different kind of stylists as well as some inventory like hair colors or shears. So keeping in view all these aspects, our goal is to create a calendar system that takes in account the staff availability, the chair availability, as well as the services and the inventory. So let's jump into my screen right here and build this together. All right, so once you open your Go High Level sub account, the first thing we have to do is add in our staff members or stylists for the hair salon. So you have to head over to settings and then click on my staff. And then you can click on add employee right here. As you can see that I've already added a few of these. If you want to add in a new one, just click here. Then add their name and contact information. This is where they will get the login credentials for the sub account. Then I'm going to scroll down and click on user permissions. Now this is where you can give them access to certain things. You can toggle this on and off based on if you want that. And then I'm going to scroll down and under user roles, you can choose to make them an admin or a user. And then one really important setting, which is user availability. This will come in handy when I'm explaining the calendar later on in the video as well. You have to make sure that you mention the exact availability for this staff members. Now, let's say this staff member is only available 9 through 3 p.m. So you can copy that setting to all of the days. Once you make sure that you have the right kind of availability set up for all your staff members, we'll see later in the video how this is going to help you automate the customer journey. Now, once this is done, all you have to do is hit save and then you will have another staff member or stylist added in your sub account. So now we have four staff members or stylists in general, and I'll show you one more example. So let's say this is Mark. I had already done the availability setting, so I'll just take you through that real quick. So if I head over to user availability, you'll see that Mark is available Monday through Friday and 9 through 1 p.m. So this availability is different from the previous staff member. Now that we have the staff members set up, we are going to head over to calendars right here. And the first thing we're going to set up is the room. And then we're going to click on add new room right here. Now you can take two kinds of approach right here. Either you could add one chair as one separate room and then add total capacity as one. Or if you want to divide your hair salon, let's say in two or three rooms where they have three or four chairs each, you can choose to do that as well. So let's say this one is used for hair trimming. I'll just create that, add total capacity as one and then hit create. So let's say chair two is used for hair coloring and I'm going to again add a capacity and you can add more chairs if you want. Then we're going to click on equipment and add a few pieces of equipment for this hair salon. So just like this one, we have hair color black and an inventory of 20 for that. So I can add hair color black here. In the description, you can choose to add a brand if you want and then you can add in the total quantity. So let's say if you have only two left, you want to say out of service, you can choose to do so. And then once you're satisfied, just hit create. And in a similar way, you can create more equipment. So let's say hair color brown, add in the description and then the quantity and out of service quantity as well. In a similar fashion, I've just created shears as well. So now we have three pieces of equipment for this hair salon. Now, the next thing we're going to do in this process is head over to group so we can create a group for all the services that this hair salon would offer. So we're going to give it a name and then under the description, you can mention something like this give it a URL and then hit create. Once this is created, we're going to head over to calendars and we're going to set up our service calendars. Now, the first one we're going to add is hair coloring. So that would be our first service calendar. We're going to add in the name and then add in a description. And then this is where we add in the relevant staff member. So let's say only a couple of stylists take care of hair coloring at this loan. So let's say we're going to pick Sam and then Alex. So only Alex and Sam would be offering this service inside the hair salon. And this setting ensures that. Then we're going to give it a URL and then decide the service duration. So let's say it is 30 minutes. We can keep that same. And then this is where you decide the availability. Now, this is usually the same as your business timings. So if you want to customize it, you can easily do so. If you want to customize it a bit more, we can click on advanced settings right here. So let's say you want to do 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then you want to take a lunch break and then you want to resume at 1 30 p.m and then all the way to 5 p.m and then if you want to copy this you can click here and then you can choose to copy it to multiple days as of your liking and then hit apply now this is exactly like your business time is of course yours will be different so you can set it up that way and it's fairly easy to do that right here and if you want to add in some buffer time minimum scheduling notice or date range, you can choose to do that. And then under forms and payments, this is where you can choose to get prepayments for the service. And then under notification and additional settings, this is where you can give notifications to the relevant people. 
So let's say for each booking, you want your staff member or the assigned stylist to get a confirmation or a notification that needs to be fulfilled by the relevant staff member. You can click on that right here. Then under customizations, this is where you can add a service cover image to make the calendar setup look really professional. So let's upload a picture right here. As you can see, that is uploaded right here. And then you can also customize the setting like the colors as well as the calendar title description if you want to show that or not. And then the last and the most important step, let's say room and equipment. This is where you decide what room or the chair would be assigned for this service. So let's say you can offer hair coloring on both the chairs based on the availability. You can choose to select both of them. Now, if you choose both and let's say one is occupied, there will be one person who can still come in and occupy the next chair. But let's say if a third person comes in, at the same time, they will not be able to book for that specific slot because now both the chairs would be occupied so they would get the next slot automatically. And this is why this is really going to help you and make sure that your customers do not have to call or go to the reception for every single thing. So this is exactly how it can be really helpful in automating all of these little bits. And then we're going to choose equipment. So for this one, we can choose a hair color. Now, of course, you can only select one of these equipments for this specific calendar. Let's say if you want to offer different kinds of colors and you want to assign a designated calendar for that, you can duplicate this and then choose the other one as well. For now, I'm just going to go with hair color black. And once all of this is completed, we're going to hit save and our first service calendar is ready to go. Now, in a similar way, we're going to add in another one for trimming. So let's duplicate this one right here. Then under the group, you can assign it to the group that we had created. Now, I did not do it for the first calendar we created, so I'll show you another way to do that even after the calendar is created. So let's go ahead and just make sure this is all okay. Availability, I'm just gonna keep the same. And the only thing I'm going to customize for this example is the image, so I can remove this one right here. And then we're going to choose the right kind of image. Once that is added, we're going to head over to rooms and equipments. Again, both of these chairs are fine. And then for equipments, we can use shears as that is the relevant one for this kind of service and then we're going to hit save. Now, once this is created, you'll see that the hair trimming service calendar does have a group assigned to it. So because we didn't do it for the first one, you can easily do that by clicking on the three dots right here, then clicking on move to group, and then select Dave's hair salon, and then hit select. Once this is done, both the service calendars are now under the same group, which is fantastic. Now, if I take you to the groups right here, and I'm going to copy the scheduling link from here, and then let's open it and you'll see that we have the couple of services that we added right here. We can see the description as well as the images and the time as well. Now let's say as a customer, I want to choose the hair trimming service. I'll select that and you can see the two stylists or people that offer this service. Now let's say if I move forward with Sam, the availability that we'll get is based on a few factors. Number one, it is going to be based on the business availability overlapping with Sam because Sam has also a custom availability and you'll see that just in a moment. So let's say for Friday the 12th, we have a couple of timings right here. So 4.15 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. Now, if I go back and choose Alex, and now you'll see that the availability has changed and that is only because Alex has a different availability than Sam. So this is how this calendar system is ensuring that whenever a customer is trying to book with somebody, they're not only booking with the business itself, but also the staff member based on their availability. So that's why it's really important and if you select the right kind of availability for your staff members, it is really going to automate all of these processes. Now, there's one more thing that can take this calendar system to the next level. As you see right now, we're only able to choose one service, but let's say I want to bring a friend and I also want to get both of these services combined. Now, in order to do that, I'll have to create a couple of bookings, which is not really the ideal circumstance. So let's change that and take this one step further. So I'm going to go back to go high level right here. And then I'm going to click on service menu, add new service menu right here. Then we're going to give the menu a name, add in a description as well as the URL, and then choose the form right here. And then we're going to scroll down to additional options. Now, this is where we have a really cool option. So now, firstly, you can enable guests, which means I can bring a friend if I want, and I can add the details right in the system. You can also enable multiple service selection, which I was just talking about. So if I am interested in a couple of services, maybe more than that, I can add multiple one of these at the same time. Just like e-commerce, you can add multiple things to cart. So you can have that ability here. And then you can also enable staff selection if you need to. Then we're going to head over to services. And for now, I'm just going to select all the services. Of course, you can choose to offer anyone you like. And then under arrange your services, if you have multiple groups and then you have multiple services, you can also arrange the order right here. Since we only have one right now, I'm just going to hit save and our service menu will be created. 
Now let's click on these three dots right here, copy the scheduling link, and then let's open it and see how this is different from the previous one that we had. So right off the bat, we have the name and the description right here, and then we have our services, of course. Now let's click on book here, and you'll see how this is different from the previous experience. So the first thing that's different is, of course, the ability to add guests. So if it's just me, I can choose to do that. And two people is just me and plus one. So let's say I wanted hair coloring and my friend wants to book hair trimming. So I can book him that here. And then we're going to click on confirm. Now the default option for these services here is with any available staff at the chosen time. But if you choose to select a staff, you can click here. So let's say I only want Alex to handle that. I can choose that. And for hair trimming, I can choose Sam. Now we're going to hit confirm right here. And then it is going to give us the availability based on the services we have selected also based on the availability of these staff members. So let's say I want to come in with my friend on Wednesday at 10 a.m. We'll choose that, hit continue, add in the contact information, and then schedule appointment. Now, once this is done, you will see that we have two guests for two different kinds of services booked with two different stylists for this hair salon. Normally, in order to accomplish this, you would have to call somebody and then, you know, give them the details that I want this service, when is this stylist available, and when's that available. So in order to avoid all that hassle and make it a seamless process, this service calendar system can really help you automate not even the hair salons. You can copy this model across multiple industries and make sure that you automate this process and make the best customer journey possible. With that being said, that was pretty much about this video. I hope this helped you and thank you for watching.